Lego my ego, forget about it. Today, we're making waffles. Oh, that's right, you guys. Today, we're doing waffles, and we're doing them. They're totally clean eats, totally approved. Uh, we came up with this recipe because sometimes you guys are looking for something different besides maybe a smoothie for breakfast or eggs. Um, and this is a way to clean out your breakfast and get something really tasty and that you thought you could never eat again. All right, you guys, here's the recipe. Alicia's got you covered. Check it out. And all the ingredients are max approved. We've got half a cup of almond milk, two eggs, half a cup of protein powder, the toasted almond flavor, that's kind of my favorite, some vanilla, and some butter, baking soda too. To get started with our waffles, the first thing we need to do is mix together all of the wet ingredients, then we'll put together the dry ingredients in a separate bowl, and then pour the wet into the dry and mix it all together. So we'll whisk together our two eggs, our half a cup of almond milk, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, and three tablespoons of butter. Onto the dry ingredients. You put half a cup of your toasted almond protein powder or whatever protein powder you have on hand, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Now we put the wet into the dry and whisk. And now we make the waffles. Depending on your waffle maker, you really don't need to coat it with oil, but it makes it just a little bit more crispy, so that's what I do first. Then I pour in about a half a cup of the batter and let it do its thing. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good right there. There it is. Nice job. All right, you guys, a couple of things about this recipe to take note of. One, it is totally approved, okay? And some of you might be thinking, Alicia, the butter in this recipe? Yeah, and you know, fat does not make us fat. Too many calories make us fat, okay? And also, a lot of the processed foods, and butter is actually a real food. If you have a dairy allergy, um, or you prefer using coconut oil, that's a great option, okay? The other thing is, we're using my brand of protein powder. If you don't have that available to you, go ahead and use your favorite brand. Um, and one more thing, some of you may not have yet invested in a waffle maker, but you can get them for $20, $30, no problem. And uh, this recipe is worth it alone. You know, these waffles are beautiful, Max, but I feel like something's missing. And we're not doing any of that syrup, you guys, so don't even think about it. We actually came up with a really cool topping. Check it out. So for our topping, we need a third of a cup of coconut cream and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. But here's the key, guys. It's gotta be full fat, unsweetened coconut cream that you've put in the refrigerator for at least a couple hours, even better, overnight. That way, you don't have any added sugar and you get the right texture. Just put the two ingredients in a bowl or a blender and whip it. Whip it good. Once you've got nice soft peaks in your whipped coconut cream, you're good to go. Just put a dollop on your waffle, throw on some berries, and it's time to eat. All right, you guys, well look, these are absolutely delicious. We hope you enjoy it and like that recipe. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you next time.